Hey, uh, this video is brought to you by the Cisco Guys. My email is carlos at the Cisco Guys dot com. I'm going to be showing you how the system works with a few Cisco um, 504 phones, basically a four line phone, a 508 phone, and another 508 phone. Um, this particular one has a receptionist sidecar that these particular buttons are set for extensions but they can be programmed for speed dial buttons, uh, park calls, or a couple of other different little features that might be helpful for your business. So for now I just have these extensions programmed but they can be all programmed according to your extensions and uh, this one holds 32 extensions that you can monitor or if you had more uh, we could add a second one uh, and it'll give you 64. Uh, so just a little bit overview on the phone right this is the whole button little hand here this is the voicemail button settings uh, mute handset and speakerphone headset and speakerphone so um, just to give you an idea, those those are the settings. Um, for this demonstration, that's going to be extension 101. This is going to be 102, and that's going to be 103. So let's start with voicemail first. That's one of the most frequently asked questions. Uh, you can do voicemail a couple of different ways. Easiest way, press this button. Password. One, two, three, four. You have no messages. Press 2 to change folders. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 0 for mailbox. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. Press 2 to record your busy message. Press 3 to record your name. Press 4 to manage your temporary greeting. Press 5 to change your password. Press star to return. So by pressing 0, it allows you to change all your um, settings. You can record your name, your temporary voicemails, um, recording, all that good stuff. Also, um, if you want to just access um, by pressing the button, you go star 97 dial. Password. Okay, so it gives you the same result. Or if you want to check voicemail on another extension, star 98 pound. Comedian mail, mailbox. Let's check extension 101. And one, two, three, four. You have no messages. So that star 97 allows you to check your password. Star 98 allows you to check password from any voicemail in the system, including any virtual extensions that we may have, as long as you have the password for that particular extension. Um, so um, I'm going to show you um, how incoming calls are handled how they're, we're going to be able to do transfer, blind transfer, and we're going to uh, park a call. Um, so let's say that a call comes in, right, from the outside, okay? You can press this button here, speaker, or pick up the handset, okay? So we're going to be picking up the speakerphone, and uh, now we're talking to the outside party, okay? So let's say another call comes in, right? And so what would happen is we're going to simulate another call coming in from the outside, okay? So immediately your second button starts blinking and you will tell the first party, can you please hold? You press this button and instantly you grab the other line that's coming in, right? Like I said, we're going to have some uh, distortion because the phones are so close. So if another call came in, same thing, it will go here, another one here, another one, another one, and you go back and forth. Let's say you wanted to go back to your first call, okay? Now you're back on the first call, and the second call is now on hold. So same thing, if you wanted to go to the seventh call or eighth call, same way, you just press the button, and that way you're going to be able to go between the calls and just place them on hold, answer the questions, or I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing if you need to transfer a call to different extensions on the system. Um, so we're going to simulate a call coming in. Okay, This call is coming from the outside. So let's say that this call is for extension 101. 
Okay, so we got a couple of different options. We can do a blind transfer, we can do a transfer, and I'll show you the difference. Uh, we'll do transfer first because that's what usually most people use the most. So you can do transfer, okay, and if you had a regular phone without the side card, you would do one zero one pound. Instantly, extension 101 starts ringing and you're able to talk to them while the call from the outside is on hold, right? So you're telling extension 101, you're telling Joe, hey, you have a client that's upset, um, they, you know, want a refund, whatever the situation may be. Once they're, you've had told you know the inside party any information that you need then you hit transfer again okay so now you're free that call is talking to the outside party right so that's how you do a transfer right and you can see with the receptionist desk you see which extensions are busy so that's a great feature for for a receptionist right so we're going to hang up the calls so now um, I'm going to show you a blind transfer. Actually, I'm going to show you how to transfer using the receptionist desk, which is really, really easy. So, call comes in. Okay, I'm going to pick up that call. And now, you're going to do transfer using any of these buttons here, right? So, you go transfer, extension 101, same thing, it's ringing. Once you finish talking to them, you hit transfer and that party from the outside it's being connected so that's how you do you just pressing one button with the receptionist desk that's what these receptionist desks are great um, so I'm going to show you a couple of other things with it um, I'm going to show you the a blind transfer right how it's handled so call comes in from the outside okay let's say you wanted to do a blind transfer to extension um, 101 hit transfer okay, 101 and then hit transfer right away so what it's doing is the call from the outside is being connected directly to this party here right so they're talking from the outside without you having to be in the middle so that's the difference between um, transfer and blind transfer right really really simple uh, features now I'm gonna show you how to park a call to park a call basically um, if the call is for someone that's not in the office or they're outside or they may be on the phone and the person wants to hold you don't want to put them on hold here because it's gonna tie up one of your lines so what you do is you park it Right, so I'm going to show you both on a regular phone how you would do it and using the park fast key on the receptionist desk. Call comes in from the outside. Okay, so you can do regular phone without the receptionist desk. You will hit transfer seven zero pound seven one seven one then transfer. The system would tell you who's on, um, what's the next available parking spot, right? So you're free, right? But as you can tell, this call from the outside, they're um, on the phone waiting on hold, right? Um, and this, this shows you that 103 is busy at the moment. So let's say another call comes in, right? Okay, so another call comes in, you pick it up, and you're gonna do transfer again, uh, to, you want to park it, and I'm going to show you how you're going to park it with easily with the with the transfer button, right? With this button, so you're going to go transfer. Oh, okay. So right now the phone is ringing because you, we waited too long. Okay, so we because we waited too long, it came back to us. So what we're going to do is want to park it again, right? Transfer, park it here. 71 and hit transfer again okay so this call we had it on hold right we want to park this call again transfer with seven zero so that one told us seven two okay so now you're free 
right? 101 is parked, 103 is parked. Those are calls from the outside. We're just simulating that, right? So from any, from any phone, pick up one call, 71, dial. Okay, 71, now you were able to pick it up from any phone in the system. Okay, so let's say you finished talking to that person and you want to pick up 72 from any phone in the system, 72 pound, right, or dial. You can always just hit dial or pound, whichever is easier for you. So let's say somebody calls and you park a call at 71, it'll tell you. Let's say you park another call at 72, it'll tell you 73. So it'll go sequentially from 71 up. So it's very important as a receptionist that you remember, okay, I have the uh, CEO of one company parked on 72, and I have somebody's wife on 74, right? You don't want to give people the wrong information and they're picking up the wrong call, right? That's going to be very, very bad. So that's how you do parking a call, um, a blind transfer, um, and all that good stuff. Um, uh, if you wanted to pay someone, right, on the system, Let's say you wanted to page 101, right? You would dial star 80101 and instantly put you on a paging mode. So that's how you do paging mode in those. Um, that's pretty much going to cover this particular video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, uh, carlos at the Cisco guys .com. Thank you.